night. And that's something I try not to do because I want to be able to get up for work whenever I do get a job. So that, but uh, <laughs> starting a new job tonight. Nice, Kilgan. Uh, well, good luck, man. Definitely. I hope the best. That's uh, always a, a fun time. Watch stream, work from home. Nice, nice. First day of school for our, for our students at work. Nice. That's cool. That's some good stuff. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything planned for myself today other than this. And then I want to go to the gym later because I didn't go this morning. <coughs> Going to be doing showers and hand showers and hand sanitizer every day. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> True. It'll be interesting. Uh, all right. So I don't really know what should we start off with today. It's I feel like there's like no sound right now either. My like the audio game audio is it like all the way down or something? Um. Also, let me try turning this off now. Yeah, we're actually getting like good frames now in the uh, menu here, so that's actually nice. Uh, Kilgan, I mean, not Kilgan, uh, Bloner, if you're still in here, what exactly are the bush flights? Are they just like a, like a casual flight? Or, I feel like you, you might know about them. Get the small ones that smell like tequila due to working at a grocery store, so a lot of people are going to be there, true. Yeah, game audio seems like it's not coming up right now. Unless if, let me say... No, that's uh, not that one. I just want to check and see. It might be going through a different source for some reason. Playback. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's be there. That's fine. How about now? It is coming through somewhere. There it is. All right, sometimes it's just uh, close it out and reopen. There it is. We in boys. Wait, Cardinal, so like, look, here's what I was talking about yesterday. Look at this. See how dark your name is? Is that just me? Like, it is, like, almost, like, mixed in with the dark mode. Huh. It is that AG Maroon boy. Yeah, like, on my other screen, you're, like, red. But, like, that, and this one, it's, like, that. I'm like, bro, what? Huh. I wonder if there's a way, I'm sure there's a setting... Turns out there's a lot of stuff that you can do with uh, Franker, uh, Franker Face Z. Apparently there's like tons of moderation stuff. So like if you get a big channel, like you can, the really cool thing is you can, even though chat might be saying stuff, you can still like mute it so it doesn't show up in your chat. Um, I was always wondering like how like big streamers read like chat that's like moving like crazy like going non-stop but I think a lot of them have like filters so that way if people are like spamming, spamming a certain amount of things it just even though it posts in chat they won't see it um so that a little lighter on the chat here gotta rep Texas AM true <laughs> it is uh well for you it's probably what like is it 10 or 9? Yeah, true. A lot of the people that I watch, they don't do... Well, personally, a lot of people I watch um, don't do sub only. I feel like sub only, I would personally never do. Follower only, only if we're getting botted by like... A, I had that happen while I was doing my Spider-Man playthrough. All of a sudden, like, all these bots just start spamming my chat. 
with like emojis and like all this crap so i literally just hit that follower only button instantly stopped and then i turned it off like five minutes later and they're still going so then i was like all right <laughs> so i turned it off again um but like i don't think i'd ever do like sub only mode or anything like that i feel like it would be limiting too many too many people <clears throat> Even at like the high high tier, like the high tier people, you know, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah. All right, so I guess let's, I, I, we can try one of these. Nevada, all right, do you guys got a preference? Anybody? I'm fine with anyone, honestly. Uh, we can, I, I don't even know how to say that. Breckenridge to Mariposa, Rijeka to Sanatorini, Oceros to Cochrane, Nevada, Balkans, or Patagonia. I don't know. I mean, I'm, ha I'm gonna have fun regardless. <laughs> uh, I mean, we can try the Nevada one. Mariposa? Okay, fine. Yeah, we'll do Mariposa. Wait, what? Oh, that's, yeah, that is this one. There you go. White length. From abandoned gold fields on California's western foothills to the cracked desert plains of Black Rock City, from the glistening shores of Lake Tahoe to the sparkling cliffs of Yosemite, Yosemite Valley, this epic journey into the majestic Sierra Nevada has no shortage of breathtaking scenery to discover from a perspective few pilots ever to get the experience. Flying with that with a cruising speed of 90 knots. Perfect plane for exploring the stunning sights and natural wonders. Assistance on the trip will be available from the foreign. The help button on the BFR map, however, it is be advised. So might. Yosemite? Yosemite? Yo Semite. Yosemite. Yosemite. This looks interesting. Alright, let's do it. Mariposa. Start from. Alright, let me pick up. Good all. This boy right here, this beauty, got on the uh, good old flight stick. Yo, Sam, yo, Sam, yo, Sam, I, T, yo, Sam, I, T. It's pronounced yo, Sam, I, T, yo, Sam, I, T, yo, Sam, I, T, not might. Yo, Sam, I, T. <laughs> English is hard, guys. Like mitten, might mit, mit. Uh, yo, Sam, I, mit. Yo, Sam, mit. Yo, Sam, mit. Yo, Sam, mit. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> I have to look up a pronunciation official thing to be able to do that. All right. Gee, whoa. Oh my god. Uh. Okay. So, if I press like this button, does it show me where I'm going at least? That is a giant VFR map. Oh yeah. Well, I did. I did change it last time. Move it up here. nav log I'll put I don't know doesn't really look like I can make it smaller may have to go do that just now <laughs> we'll look it up all right so what are we flying today we're flying this bad boy Aha. Uh -huh. 
Yes, beautiful. Oh, shoot. Mouse is moving over to the other screen. Crap. Now I have to click. Hold on. Boom. There it is. All right, we good. Yes, a mighty. Yes, a mitten. Yes, a mitt. Yo submit. Yo sum my tea. Yo sum me my tea. Yo sum my tea. That's <laughs> some meme. Alright. Alright, let's see if we can do this, boys. First flight of the day. I'm not even pulling back and it's automatically pulling back. Alright, I'll take it. I'm, I'm literally not doing anything, and it's going up. <laughs> uh, does it, is the live map moving? Kind of confused. Was I supposed to click this? Back on track. Uh. Boy, we is flying. Good autopilot. Don't worry, I clipped it. <laughs> Wait, why is it say? It like disappears. Why does my thing disappear when I get myself back on track? Blender, am I doing these bush challenges correctly or no? I don't know if I'm doing it right. Don't you know about these, right? You know how to do these? I haven't done any challenges? Oh, okay. Why does it disappear? I want it to track me. Please, just show me where I'm going. I know what bush flying is, though. This thing loves going up. <laughs> Completing a bush trip without using to get me back on track will award an achievement that's particular act activity. Okay, well, I'm gonna need that, so. Don't mind me. Plus this thing, it wants me to go back that way. This plane really likes flying up. Like, holy crap. Oh my god, it's like I'm gonna do a flip. We'll show you your current position for a mount. Whoa, what the? Oh. Rope. We overstressed the aircraft. <laughs> Oopsie. That's a, that is a long flight pattern. To be honest. Uh, all right, we can try again, I guess. First stop on the tour is North American High Sierra from a quaint, quaint airstrip. When you're north along a stretch of the road for the agriculture rich land, agricultural rich rich, rich and landscape. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Let's do it. Round two. Weight distribution is off. Oh god. Round two, fight. Uh, so we need to go, is it left or right? Nope, oh, right, it's right, it's right, we got it. Oh God. I will say the game is running a lot 
like a lot better today on my uh <clears throat> on my actual uh hard drive so it's uh it, it's definitely a lot better smooth the menu actually works everything seems to be uh more on track <clears throat> Oh, your flap's supposed to be like that? Uh, hold on, I'm trying to see. Is it six? I forget, well, there, one of these buttons goes back and forth on the controller. Uh, the flaps, I think so. I don't know if there's a setting on this one to change things like that. This does feel so much better right now compared to yesterday. We're gonna be getting some sightseeing in today, boys. I probably should have did the, uh, the time thing, but that's all right. That's so cool that you can pop these out and like put it on a different screen. Oh, I didn't even realize that. I was blocking that. Uh, let me see if we're on track. We're definitely doing better because this time uh, we have the uh, Actually, let's just minimize that. There we go. Uh, this time we're going a little bit, or we were going under the speed limit, the 90. Just trying to think what could be using, uh, causing it to rise so fast like that. It might just be the, the plane itself, to be honest. Now we're at 69. Oh, we were. Is this the first point of interest? Almost. Because F8, yeah, F8 would, well, oh God. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. <laughs> not, oh wait, not like this. Put it back, put it back. Put the flaps back up. Put it up. <laughs> uh... Landing is honestly pretty easy for the most part. It doesn't seem to be too difficult. Doing it in one piece isn't. <laughs> Depends, yeah, but yeah. Oh, we did hit this one, okay, cool. Now it shows you the path for the next part. Oh wait, it does show you it from the beginning, I think. We're going under the speed right now. Just like you don't uh, need a parachute to go skydiving, you only need it if you go twice. My flaps are still down. I need to put them back up. Uh, also, I feel like they... Oh, yeah.
true. Since I did reinstall it, the game is louder. So, oh wait, no, it's not. Oh, I'm gonna bump it down just a little bit more. Do like 65. Apply and save. That's all. Same. Um. Excuse me. You can change the uh, the pilot. There's only like three options though. Oh, what? Now there's more. What? What? Yesterday this only went up to five. How is it at 15 now? <laughs> what? Uh, maybe my game was just broken yesterday. Holy crap. There's a lot actually. All right. Who do we want to go with? Pilot three, maybe. Wow. I think we might go with pilot three. Co-pilot avatar. Who should be my co-pilot? Make this guy my co-pilot. The instructor. You only get five or 18. We'll do default, I guess. Yeah, there we go. My homies. Uh, let's see. All right, flaps. That's what I was trying to figure out. Controls. Uh, yeah, let me check this thing one more time. Camera. Internal camera, brakes, flight control, landing gear. Uh, it's, uh, keyboard, miscellaneous, instruments, camera, autopilot, brakes. The autopilot is Alt R. Engage or disengage autopilot master. Alt Z. Autopilot. Where's flaps? Landing gear, gear down. See that. Power management, radio. Oh, really? Damn. Flight control, probably. Let's see. Master has to be on before you can turn autopilot. Kind of like a key next to a nuclear button. Okay. So you press it. So you would press like X and then you do like Alt X. Turn it on. Yes, okay, gotcha. Uh, flaps, retract flaps. Extend them, decrease them, there it is. All right, so five, F5. There we go. Okay, cool. Doesn't seem like the plane is going up as much anymore either. Maybe it still is, but. See, the one thing that I really like about, like, even if you're just flying around, like, normally, the one thing that I really like is that when you press this thing, like, the point of interest, you see, like, behind you. Or, I mean, not you see behind you, you see your objective. But apparently during this, like, uh, challenge thing, since it's a challenge, I guess, like you don't really see the objective and it's not like pointing you which way you should go. That's the one thing I really like about like when you set your own departures, you press the, uh, the focus button or whatever it is. And it's like, okay, here's your next objective. Okay. Here's your next object. Kind of like a, like a racing game in a way. 
I mean, luckily we have this map, so it's not like too bad. But still, I'm assuming we just follow this canyon like all the way through. I don't know if I'm gonna do this whole flight either, cause it's kind of like, I mean, it's like cool, but I'd rather, I feel like I'd rather do like online flights, like just a casual set my own destination type thing. Plus I like, like the, um, when you are flying online and stuff, you have that, uh, like the air traffic control talking back and forth between you. In a big ass 777 or 838, do some hood rat shit. <laughs> we could. The banking degree of the row looks like Daytona turns. Just whip it, whip it around real quick. Ah, uh, it's pretty damn accurate, I would say. I, uh, yesterday I flew over my house, which was pretty cool. more throttle here oh god oh god we're slowing down ah, okay we're good i don't think we were supposed to go through the valley like that i think, I think we were supposed to just fly straight instead of like left and right and left and right but yeah, it's, it's pretty close. The cool thing is, so like, say if we got somewhere like really neat, you can press this button and it freezes time. And basically you can just look around. Like you literally can just use the, the so like say if there was like something I wanted to look at on the ground, can you just press it and do that? And then boom, press it again and you're back to flying normally. Yeah, it's definitely a, a cool feature to have. <laughs> this is a cool area. You can see the car on the road. All right, let's uh, let's go do some hood rat stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for flying through Nevada with me today. Boom. Right, <laughs> on to a new adventure. Let's see what we got here. All right, I think I might do one of the recommended airports because these are like the fully built out ones. Any recommendations? We do Los Angeles Arena. 
dude, half these places? I, nah, I don't even know. Any recommendations? I'm literally okay with any one of these. I'll change the plane afterwards to Toronto, Paris, Charles de Gaulle, or KIA, uh, KIH. Uh, there's Tokyo too. Charles de Gaulle. Paris. Okay, I see it. All right. Yeah. Since both of you guys said that, let's do that. Set departure. Yeah. Look how much better the planes or the uh, menus running today. Much better. Much better. All right. So, like, what kind of plane should we take like a big a giant <laughs> an airliner or like the jet big ass plane big boy all right let's go with the a320 neo then I feel like you need to build up to the uh, 747. So we'll start with this big boy. Yo, uh, Dystopian, thank you for the follow there. Appreciate it. We'll do all live players. We'll do live. Um, live weather. And where's going? Where should our destination be? <clears throat> uh,. Let's see here. And Airbus leaving from Paris, how fitting. Uh, here's another recommended. So let's uh let's set this as our arrival. It shouldn't take too uh too long. Heathrow. Uh oh, this one. How about I kinda wanna do like how how about the houses of parliament? It's right next to Heathrow. Yeah, let, let's do that because that's recommended as well. And it's not too much further. Um, yeah, let's do this. And then I think that's pretty much all we need, right? It's not, it's, it's a one shot trip. Navlog, cruise speed, uh, 250. With uh, eighty-five thousand feet. Okay, let's do it. A three twenty Neo incorporates two new engine choices: Pratt and Whitney's Pure Power Gear Turbofan, and along with Sharklet wingtip devices. Flying high this time, kind of. I mean, I'm waiting for one that we get like they're gonna say like thirty thousand feet. All the flights that we've done so far has been like anywhere from like six to eight. I feel like that's not too high, you know? I'm really happy at how much better this is running right now though. It's really nice for once <laughs> compared to yesterday. Oh my God, so much smoother. Pro tip, pro tip. Do not put flight simulator on external hard drive. I should have known better, but I was like, eh, I'll give it a try. Might as well, right? Uh, was the yellow plane in 68 range? Yeah, I think so. I think the yellow plane was like uh, 65 around there. Oh boy. Music stopped. Okay, it's back. Boom. All 
I don't know. Part of me still wants to. I'll make a decision around like one o'clock. Part of me still wants to play UFC. And I feel like that's a good game to like chill and chat and like fight and it's action packed and like stuff. Yeah, there's a UFC four. It's out. See, the thing I hate is they're only out on Xbox and PlayStation four. But everybody that I've seen that's been playing them has been playing it on PS4. So I think in that case, I'd probably buy it on PS4 because I mean, I have an Xbox and I have it. It's just sitting there, but I barely ever use it. So I don't know though. And if I did do that, then I would need to download it. So like we could do some flights and stuff. What my Xbox is doing. Yeah, so like. <laughs> exactly the only positive of me buying it on my xbox would be um i would have it on and i i prefer the xbox controller i don't know i it doesn't matter for online for me because i mean i don't even have playstation plus or anything like that I forgot to change my call sign. For takeoff, runway two six right, Airbus tree two zero. Tree two zero. Endurance, unlimited fuel. Range, unlimited fuel. Chat, are you ready for the big boy flight of the day? Whoa, it's moving. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Let's do it. Ready to fly. I clicked it. Hello? Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for flying. Wait, actually, hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today we're going to be flying uh, over to a uh, new place. Um, this is your captain, uh, Cassis Clay. Uh, we're going to be go ahead and uh, take off in a few seconds here. Please, uh, everybody, strap your uh, self in to the seat. Please uh, put all uh, trays and tables up and uh, enjoy the ride. Thank you very much. <laughs> and the little guy flies right underneath me. Alright, let's do it. I think... I think we can. I think we can. I think we can. Get that speed. Go, 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 go. Lift off. Raise landing gear. Is it B? What? off is easy part. That other plane isn't shadowing at you. Over speed. Over speed. Uh oh. Over speed. Uh -oh. Copy Airbus tree two zero. Over speed. Uh over speed. I tried putting the thing up. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. What is it? G? Over speed. Over Yeah, it is G. I pressed it earlier. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. What are we at? Oh, we should be much Overspeed. higher than this. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. We should be Overspeed. at 85. Over speed. Over 
speed, over speed, over speed, over speed, over speed, over speed, over speed, over speed, over speed, not over speed. All right, we're climbing. It's fun I've ever taken. Not bad, not bad. Come on, man. I'm trying to. This thing loves turning. Alright, we're at 85. Stay. Stay. No, we're still climbing. Go down, down. My, dude, the rudder is like, I have to counter it because it's still like going to the left as if I'm going like that. It's so annoying. I love how you like, you have like the cutting in and out. Yo, Kareem, thank you for the follow there. Appreciate it. You should re recreate the miracle on the Hudson. <laughs> is the camera? The camera is supposed to be like this, I guess. Not bad, guys. We're we're uh, actually we're doing okay right now. I mean, we got some clouds, some beautiful looking clouds. Uh, some more clouds if you look to the right and to the left. If you look to the left, you see some more clouds, maybe a little bit of light too. Behind us, a lot of names and more clouds. Not bad, not bad. Just in the cloud. And below, clouds. Look at that. <laughs> you know, you would think I have it on, on autopilot right now, but I don't. I literally, I, I just like kind of let go and it's just doing it. Does the objective just always say continue climb to designate a cruise altitude? That's how plans are supposed to work. True. Uh, how about a cockpit view? There it is. Trying to see if uh, it really looks like we're good. Good right now, I think. I think we're are, we're literally at that like 250, which is perfect. We're a little bit higher than we should be. 
but it's still, it's okay. Also, let's see. Get it right there. One one nine or decimal nine or Airbus three two zero. Airbus Alpha Sierra oh three three two zero Bovey approach continue as planned. Altimeter two nine or decimal six seven. Yeah, we're a little bit excessive. I'm going down a bit here too. Not bad. If we make this entire flight, then we are good. I think that's the plane's elevation. I'm running them down. Okay. Okay. It's a learning experience for all of us. <laughs> also, I think we're supposed to be following this blue line right now, actually. Now that I think about it. But we kind of weren't. All right, we can try following it a little bit better. Let me check. Wait, are we? Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Call on fast, man. Uh, we're going down a little bit, but we should still be fine, I think. Yeah, I don't know what the flight pattern we were supposed to take. I'm so confused about that. Also, we are kind of going down now. Also, we're going very fast. <laughs> All right, climb up. Go back into third. Yeah, here we go. Just fly low. Looking at the dashboard, it's more exciting. All right. Okay. We're going to be speeding up a little bit here. Trying to keep it within that 85. Okay. Yeah, it says it right there. 85,000 feet. See if we can get to 85, and then I'm going to try to adjust the thing. Okay, so we're at 85 right now. We pull back a little bit. Oh, it's the elevation of the airport? Really? Really? So it's really high up then? No way. <laughs> what? Posture check. Oh, God. Why does it say that when I started it, though, it said that my flight thing was going to be like uh, 85? Really? I mean, that's what I thought you want to be at like 30, but I wasn't 100% sure. 
I mean, we'll go up to uh, 30 then. The flight director in the center of the aircraft is set. God. Need speed. Decimal seven for Airbus three two zero. Airbus Alpha Sierra X ray three two zero Paris Center continue as planned. Altimeter two nine or decimal six four. Okay, uh, I think we're getting there. Oh, God. Am I climbing at too high of a, uh, press B. Am I pulling back too far while climbing, I guess? Yeah, that's a little steep. Should I keep it at like the 20 or like the 10? Or like right in the middle, like 15? Split the diff. Huh? Huh? Like, split the difference between the two? 15? Yeah, 15 is fine. We're still climbing. This is a little bit slower. Check outside. Wow! Look at that, boys! Wow! Look at them clouds. Ladies and gentlemen. Easy 2046, you are 20,000 feet above your assigned altitude. Descend and maintain 10,000 feet. He says descend and maintain 10,000 feet. <laughs> Oof. Is supposed to release on console, no release date yet? Yeah, nothing yet. No info yet. Now, I think we are talking about, like, you should fly at uh, 30,000, but... Or, I was saying that I think they s usually say 30, but... Um, the, f the flight thing did say 85. Yeah, it said 85. Is there a way to check the flight plan while you're in air? Yeah, they have they have all sorts of planes. The higher edition of the game you get to, the more planes you get. But there's about 20 in like the standard one, which is pretty cool. Ah. Uh, 
All right, we're at 16. Pilots be like, so how are you and the kids doing, man? Yeah? Yeah, mine's just starting to go to college. Bro, did you see this TikTok? Yeah, right? Yeah, I like I like the dance moves that they're doing. Now yeah, we still got another five thousand, we're good. I wonder if that's what it's actually like. <laughs> Just like sitting on your phone like that scrolling. <laughs> Hydrate. Bird strike. <laughs> We're going through the clouds. I don't know which one was supposed to be my route. Is there a way you can check the flight plan like in the air? I'm, I'm surprised like they teach you all the basics, but then like actually flying, they don't really teach you much. And I'm kind of like, eh? Yeah, what's going on whip? Thank you for the gift of sub. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, thank you for coming by. Appreciate it. <laughs> what else do we have here? Um, uh, I don't know when it's going to be a release on console, honestly. It'll be pretty surprising when it comes out. But supposedly, I mean, I've seen people saying that the game handles actually like decently on a controller. So that's always good. Good to see at least. IRL, I don't know how Kaz is flying manually more than any other pilot Pac champ. <laughs> Now we're going over this giant body of water. Over to this next area. Uh oh. I mean, honestly, we're at like 250, so I don't really know what this thing's talking about. I mean, we were at like 260. Right here seems to be good. Right about. Oh. There she is. We're at 10. We're at 250 or two like 55. Not bad. And we're at 97 away. <laughs> Everyone is waiting to see you land this piece. Oh, God. Yeah, uh, that part will be interesting. <laughs> 